I can see people are still finding new untapped niches that are actually monetizable in the stick figure style. I just came across this channel called Straightforward Buddy on YouTube, and it's actually pulling big numbers recently. As you can see here when I check with Nextlev extension, it says that is monetized. Now this channel has posted only 20 videos and has generated more than 1.5 million views, which with an RPM of $4 to $5, they have generated more than $7,000 with just 20 videos. And today, I'm going to show you the best way how we can make similar content like this using only ChatGPT. Yes, that's all we need to generate the idea, the script, the images. So I would suggest you watch the whole video so you don't miss any steps. Now they make interesting videos about topics that most of us relate to. So I have already seen a lot of these channels that are making stick figure videos about motivation, growth, etc. I want to make something that I haven't seen anyone doing. I want to create a stick figure niche on manifestation and law of attraction. So stay with me and see how I can turn this niche on the niche that is evergreen and always bringing in big views. First, what I need to do is open one of these videos and copy the script. I have installed the Nextlev extension, so I just press this icon here and it will open this part here, and I just press copy transcript. Also, if you want to do this, you want to install Nextlev extension too, since it's going to be a big help. And I'll show you later on this video also how this tool is a good help to do this. So you have the link on the description and use the code Big Steps for 20% discount. Anyway, let's go to ChatGPT now and just type save this and paste the script and hit generate. In the meantime, let's go to YouTube and search for something like abundance. Let's filter by this month and view count. Or to make it even better, use two keywords like abundance and wealth. This one has low subscribers, but has gained almost 70k views, so it means that this channel might have some videos that can give you inspiration to go viral quickly. So let's open up the channel and filter by the must popular video. We see that they have one with over 100k views, so let's open that one. Hit the script icon again from Nextlev, copy the transcript, and then let's go in ChatGPT and let's write. In the same tone, writing style, and technique and length, write this script but don't include any heads or anything else, just the script. Then paste the script and hit generate. See here, we got our script ready from ChatGPT. It's a short script around three minutes because we want to make the same videos as the competitor channel that we saw that is making around three minutes long videos. So yeah, this is the script. Now what we need to do is narrate the voice. And for that, we're going to use 11 labs. Look, if you're tired of researching YouTube automation, but never actually making money from it, I'm opening up my private community soon, where I show you exactly how I built multiple profitable channels that brought me in my first $10,000 months. This is it for people who just want free tips. I'm only letting in serious people ready to quit their 9 to 5 and take action on building real, automated income. Join the waitlist below to get early access before everyone else. The link is in the description, but only join if you're actually going to use what I teach you. So yeah, now let's go to 11 labs and then let's go to filters. For language, let's choose English. English, for accent let's choose American. And here we select high quality male voice and also old. And yeah, we didn't get a lot of voices. But let's check them out and see how they sound. Let me tell you what just because it happened. Okay, now I'm gonna remove the filter old because I want to show more voices. So yeah, let's try some out. And once you find your voice, then all you need to do is just press this plus button right here. And then you can use that voice when you go to text to speech, paste the script. Then you can select the model here. I'm going for V2 for this one since it allows more characters, around 5,000 characters. You can remove the spacing like this. One thing that I see here is that we don't have the right punctuation. So the lines never stops. What we need to do is go back to ChatGPT and type write it as a script so I can put on 11 labs and generate voice narration from the script. And then ChatGPT is going to know that it needs to add the right punctuation so the voice generator can read it correctly and give us the right narration. So let's copy this one again, paste it in here, hit generate, and now it sounds perfect. Good morning. You woke up for a reason. Today isn't random. Some other thing that you can do is go to voices, create or clone a voice, then press instant clone voice, and then add a voice that you want to clone over here, and then press next. Put the name, for example, for this one I want to write abundance voice, since I want to know that I need to use this voice whenever I'm making videos about abundance. Let's choose the language to English. Check this part here and save the voice, and boom, you have the voice ready and you can go to generate the script using this voice now, and yeah, this is what I generated. Good morning. You woke up for a reason. Today isn't random. 
It's a signal. All right, so the narration is ready, the voiceover is ready, and what we need to do now is to create the footage. And for that, all we need to do is we need to go to one of this channel videos. And this is where NextLev also comes in handy again, because as you can see here, we have this button that can take a screenshot of the frame, and it makes it very easy because you can just press download, and it will download that exact frame. Just like this, you go to one frame, you press download, then go to the other frame and press download and on and on. Once we have enough frames downloaded, then we can go again to ChatGPT. And now I will upload those images into ChatGPT and write, now I want to make for each sentence a stick figure image like the samples I have attached. Each image should represent in a figurative way what is being said in that sentence. Let's do outlines for each image and I'll tell you to continue generating once we finish one image. Each image should be a PNG with a transparent background. Okay, now it's generating the first image and boom, this is the image that we got. It's perfect, so what it does now, it's going to generate images based on what the script is saying. So for each sentence, you're gonna have a generation of the image. So a stick figure to change for each sentence, which is what we want since that's what our competitor is doing. Then all you need to do is just press continue and we're gonna have the other image generated and then press continue again and this is it. This is what you need to do until you have all your images generated. As you can see here, I have finished generating my images. So now all I need to do is download each of them. And then we need to put this together on an editor. For that, we're going to use CapCut. So let's create a new project. Let's import all of our footage and the voiceover into the CapCut. Then let's drag and drop the voice into the timeline. And then let's make changes. Because AI is doing a great job but it's not always perfect, so it leaves some spaces on the narration. So we need to remove those spaces and make the pacing faster so it doesn't bore the audience, which also helps with having higher retention. After we have done that, we need to have our background image. So let's go to ChatGPT again, and let's ask this. Can you generate an image of just the background color? And boom, here we have only the background color, so you can download it. Go back to CapCut, import the image, put it on the timeline. Then, let's change the ratio to 16 by 9 and we need to scale it so it fits the frame. Then you need to make the length of it, as long as the video is, and now it's time to put our stick figures into the video. So let's drag and drop our first image, which is this one. Change the length to what it's needed to be, and once you have done that, then let's drag and drop the other one. Also change the length of it to match the narration. Then we need to add the other one, change the length of it, and the other one, and we repeat this until we have added all of our stick figure images. Once we do that, we can add some text, for example like this. Go to text, then press default text, and you can write in this section here. For example here it's saying good morning, so I'm going to add good morning. And then you can also change the font. I'm going to choose this one called Rubik. Scale it a little bit so it fits good on the frame. And then once it's ready press, export, export it on 1080p. Press export again, and boom, let's check it out. Good morning. You woke up for a reason. Today isn't random. It's a signal. You're in that rare space between dreaming and doing, where your thoughts still echo from the night, but your will is waking up. This is the soft edge of consciousness, a gateway between what was and what can be. Amazing. This will work for our channel. Now, if you watch this far, that means that you are in the top 1% that are really interested to succeed on YouTube automation. If you are one of them, then leave a comment down below saying 1%. And also, if you want to be part of a large community of people that are like-minded and you want to really succeed on YouTube automation as soon as possible, then join the waitlist for my private community and you will be one of the first people that will have the chance to join. Numbers are going to be limited, so make sure you secure your spot. That's it for this video. If this didn't make you start YouTube automation, then check this other video I have prepared for you that can help you get started with it. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next one.